Hey guys, welcome back to Liquid Art. Today we're going to be painting this balloon festival painting which got sent in to us, this photo. So here we go. So guys, here's our setup for today. You'll notice that my palette is a little bit messy and that my canvas board is a different colour to normal. That's because I did a painting earlier on today. I didn't really like it, so I just painted over it in white so that I could use the canvas board again. So, what you're going to need today is obviously your canvas board, hopefully it's nice and clean. And then you've got our paint brushes, we've got a big one, a medium one and a small one. We've then also got our paint water and our kitchen roll so that we can clean our brushes. And then we've got our palette over here which is covered in cling film for easy cleaning. And then we've mainly got the colours white, yellow, red, turquoise and blue. We've also got some pink and I'm going to add some black later on for when we do our rock formation. So remember this is all step by step, paint at your own speed and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So when you guys are ready, I want you to take your big paintbrush for me, you're going to give it a really good wash, make sure it's nice and clean, dab off that excess water and then you're going to take some white and you're going to paint it across here. This is going to be the bottom of our sky. So we just want to make sure this is nice and white and then we're going to mix some other colours into it. So we're going to take some turquoise and you're just going to brush these two colours together to make a really nice light turquoise colour. So I'm just doing long strokes backwards and forwards all across our canvas. And if you find that it's not mixing, you might need a tiny little bit of water. If you find that it's not moving, again add water. If you find that it's running too much, you just want to dry off that paintbrush and then add some more paint. So now I'm just adding a little bit more turquoise, bringing it up a little bit higher. And again, I'm just blending it in. You want a nice gradient with this as the sky goes up. Now I'm going to take some blue and I'm brushing it at the top of this canvas board. So if you notice, it's only about a brush width across the top of my canvas board and then I'm going to blend this blue into our turquoise colour using some more turquoise. Now to blend all this together, you may find that you need to wash your paintbrush, give it a good dry, and get it just a tiny little bit wet and brush it across the whole of your painting, okay? Try not to overdo this, you don't want to keep brushing backwards and forwards with loads of paint on your palette, otherwise it will just turn into a big blob, okay? So I'm just going to wet my paintbrush just slightly and I'm just going to brush backwards and forwards across just to make sure it blends. I'm just adding a tiny bit more white down here just to brighten it just slightly and to bring our sky a little bit lower. So now we should have this lovely gradient colour going on for our sky. So when you're ready, wash this paintbrush, put it to the side, and then grab your medium one. So now we've got our medium paintbrush, and what we want to do is make a brown. So we're going to take some yellow, some red, and some blue, so all of our primary colours, and mix them together. This will create a brown. Now, obviously it will be different shades depending on how much blue you use, how much red, how much yellow. So we're just going to try and create a brown for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the side and we're going to add some white to it to lighten it to see what colour we create. So now I've mixed them together and I've got a nice light brown colour. That's what I was aiming for. And we're trying to create our rock formation. So you're just going to create this as if you're creating mountains. So you're going to do one section and then you're going to overlap with another. 
we're just going to paint this brown for now and then we're going to add some white to it to lighten it so we're just going to add it to the top here so we're using a tiny little bit of white brushing in this white colour it will just lighten it just slightly so it's created a bit of a texture of what's going on in these mountain parts so it's kind of a rock formation that we're creating here so now we're going to do the same on this side just creating another mountain and then adding some more at the front here So the idea of this, you don't want to cover it all in brown and then deal with it later. We want to try and make a few different shapes with this formation here. And then we're going to add some different colours to build up these textures and build up some depth as well. So I'm adding some white just to lighten it just slightly. And this bit here is going to be nice and flat, so we want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take some more white into it and just brighten this bit up. Good, so now we've got a rough idea of our formation. We're going to add some browns into this just to darken this bit of the front here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some black and we're going to brush it in to make some shade. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit of black and putting it onto my palette. And then here with the black already on my paintbrush, I'm just going to paint along this bit that we did before. So we want lighter at the top of the mountain or rock formation and then black towards the bottom, okay? So all we're doing for this part here is we're using some of the black to make the darker parts of our mountain and our valley and then we're using some white to lighten the top parts. So we're just playing with the difference between light and dark, the difference between the height and the depth of this valley, mountain, rock area. So we're just going to play about with this. I'm just going to divide this up by a few little bits. Some bits going down, some bits going up. You guys can choose which bits you want to do. But this is what I was following with the photo. So this bit being darker, we're going to darken this bit using some of the black. And then this big space in front of us is actually going to be more of a cliff. So we're going to leave it a little bit lighter and a bit whiter.
so this bit here we're just darkening as it's the edge of our cliff face so we're just going to darken it and then the top bit here we're going to lighten this is because this is the this is going to be the full pane this is the bit we want to see we're going to lighten it a little bit So just remember, this bit is quite abstract, it's very, it's not the focus point of this painting, so don't worry about it too much. We just want to show that there's different things going on here. We want to show that there is kind of a rock formation going on, okay? So don't worry about it if it's not perfect. The attention is going to be on our hot air balloon, not this. I'm just lightening these bits in the background. Wherever the top is, you want to lighten it. Wherever the bottom is, you want to darken it. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take some white. And here in our rock formation, we want a balloon to be. So I'm just going to take some white and I'm going to draw the shape of this. So it's kind of, you just draw a circle or an oval. And then you're just going to pull a triangular shape towards the bottom. So don't worry if this is blended in with the colour underneath. We want it to dry like this just for a little bit while we work on other balloons. And then we'll use it more later. So what I want you to do now, we're going to take some black and a little bit of blue. You could just use black if you want. And we're just going to create a tiny bit of half of balloon here. So you're only going to see a section of it. You might want to leave this bit or you might not even notice it. But we're just doing a tiny little one here as if it's in the distance. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do a few more. So you can use whatever colours you want for this. You might want to do them all in white first and then paint over the colours later. But again, we're just going to do a few different ones of different sizes. You don't want to make these massive because we want to look like they're far away. So again, a little circular shape and then bring it down as if you're doing a triangle. Again, they don't have to be perfectly white, we just want to build these up and then we're going to add colours to them later on. And now we're going to do our big one. So we're just going to do, again, this kind of circle shape. This is more like drawing a bracket, I found, more than anything. So you're just going to do this circular shape, and then you're going to bring it down to a point. So we've got the shape of it and then we'll need to colour this in white. We are going to use different colours again to build it up but you just want to build it up white once we've done that and then I'm going to add a few more different balloons as well.
I'm just colouring this in white. We want this balloon to be green when we finished. So what I'm going to do is paint this in white now. And you notice it's mixing in with that blue. And in a minute, what we're going to do is we're just going to brush some yellow straight into it. Because there's blue already on the bit that we're painting and it's already wet, if we just add some yellow straight away, it's going to mix it here on our canvas. So just take that yellow and just brush it straight in and it will make our green colour. So I'm just lightening this up to make it that really nice light green colour. You guys can obviously do this in different colours if you want to, or you can keep it that colour. I thought it was best to lighten this side of the balloon, so it makes like an, a, a really nice natural shadow in that darker green. So I'm just adding a few different colours to different balloons now. You could add patterns on them if you wanted. It could be dots. It's entirely up to you guys. I'm just adding this one green. And I'm just going to lighten some other bits here. So I'm just doing more of a purple colour this time. So mix in that blue, red, and a little bit of white. And I'm just going to create another balloon right here, but a purple colour this time. So now I'm going to take some red and at the bottom of our big balloon we're going to kind of, it's like a kind of a, a wind directional thing, uh, I don't know the proper name of a balloon, <laughs> but we're going to paint this red um, to show kind of it's the inside of the balloon, it's just adding a little bit of detail here. And now I'm just going to darken a few little bits around our mountain range. I'm, I'm just using brown for this. You don't have to if yours is fine. I was just filling out this bit because I felt I needed a little bit more. And also, I wanted this bit to be quite dark around the balloon that's in this kind of crevice because I want it to really stand out later on. And now what I'm going to do, I've given my brush a good wash, I'm now going to take some white and I'm just brushing it into the tops of these balloons. We just want to slowly build them up and brighten them a little bit more. They may have faded in with the background slightly, so you just want to build up by adding some white. And notice I'm keeping the white more on the left hand side of all of these balloons. It's as if the white, the light for the sun is coming from our left side. So we want to keep one side lighter, the other side darker of all of our balloons. Mm -hmm. 
So now all I'm doing is I'm trying to brighten and add some shadows to our balloons, okay? So I'm just gonna use a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow here. First we're gonna paint the baskets and then we're gonna add these shadow different details. So I'm just doing a little bit of a square underneath each of our balloons. So you want them to make sure that they're a lot smaller than the width of the balloons are. So a tiny little bit and then we're gonna add some shading to them in a second. So now I'm just taking a little bit of black and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up the side of the balloon first, okay? Do you remember earlier we only added white to the left hand side now you're going to add it the black to the right hand side of the balloons okay so we're just adding a little bit along here you want to make sure it blends in a little bit you don't want it to be a thick black line and then we're just going to do around the basket as well so in a second we're going to move on to the next balloon it's going to be more in the distance but again we're just going to paint a tiny bit on the right hand side of the balloon and then we're going to paint around the basket just slightly so it's just added a bit of a shadow So all I'm doing here is I'm just darkening up a bit of that cliff face here. You might not need to, I'm just doing a tiny little bit. And then I'm going back into our balloons, okay? So I've washed my brush, I'm now adding a little bit of white to that left hand side of the balloon. So we're really, with this painting, we're really battling between the light and the dark and trying to make things stand out a little bit more. So I'm just adding this to each of the balloons on the left hand side, I'm adding just a little bit of white just to make them pop out a little bit more. And then after we've done this, we're pretty much done. The only thing I did is after the camera, I turned it off, I didn't like the balloon that was in the crevice. So all I did was I added to it and I added it using some yellow and some green just to brighten it up, okay? So you'll see it in the next photo um, and from our reference photo, but that's all I did. I just added to it slightly more and I also blended in the white on this balloon a little bit more. I didn't like the light line going across, but that's all. But I'll show you for the next photo. So I hope you all have enjoyed this painting. If you've done it, please send us your photos. We'd love to see them. And I hope we'll see you next time. As you can see, I just added a little bit of yellow and green to that balloon. And I also blended it in a little bit more on the others. So I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.